Hello, pretty friends. This is Allison Wheeler. I'm just coming on this afternoon to make a quick video to show you how I like to cull my images in Lightroom. Um, before Lightroom, um, and before I actually learned these little tricks, the culling took up so much time. And now, as soon as I get home, I can pop an image into or a card into import. Um, a session and I can cull and be done culling in 30 minutes tops. That's even with distractions from my kids. So let me just show you how I love to do it. So um, I've got this session imported here. Um, and so I've already imported it and they're all here. You can see um, this is from a mini session block that I did. Um, so from the library, module come up here to photo right here the fourth one over and click and go to the drop down menu and check auto advance make sure that's got a little check mark by it you'll see it right there with the check mark what this does it will automatically go to the next image for you so just say i'm going to keep this image and so um whenever i decide to keep it it will automatically just click on through to the next image so what I like to do to keep images and to reject images are using the keyboard shortcuts, which is P for pick, like I'm going to keep it, and then X for delete, like I don't like it. So my first cull, I go through and just, whoops, um, cull through, have a first reaction. Um, I like it or I don't like it. XP, XP. So I'll just go through and cull a few. Um, and just my first reaction, if I like them, if I'm seeing that I've got a whole bunch of the same images, I might kind of um, reject them. And if, if it looks like somebody's got a weird face, reject. Um, I, can, I can go back and reject and um, using my arrow buttons. Keeping, deleting, uh, keeping, reject keep that one see it just goes really quick it just automatically goes to the next image um, for you so and then just kind of I'll go ahead and have a stopping point right here um, so I don't have to cull through my whole uh, session for you guys but let's say I was done and at the end I would push Control backspace on my keyboard and this pop-up comes up that says delete the eight rejected master photos from the disk or remove them from Lightroom. What I always, the default is always on remove. If you remove them, that will just take them out of Lightroom and they'll still remain on your hard drive. But my reasoning is I, if I don't like them enough to edit them, I don't want them taking up space on my computer. So I always opt for delete from disk and then it just automatically deletes those off of my hard drive and goes right to the recycle bin. So what I like to do next is just go back to the grid view here. And I like to go and highlight images that are similar. So they're here in the similar pose. So I've got the first one clicked. I hold down control and I click through to get the similar images. I'm going to stop right there because that's kind of a good division point. And then I go right here down to this, down here called survey view. You can click it or you can tap in on your keyboard and it will pull up those selected images. And then I go through and do my second cull. So I just look at them close up. I hit the space bar for it to zoom in. And I still like that one. I might not like that one as much. I'll keep that one and that one. And that one's really cute. Uh, maybe delete that one. I like their faces and then it gets me back to where I was and then you can just do the control backspace again and delete from disk. So there you go. We went from uh, we culled through several several images and we used the survey mode. Um, we deleted off the bad ones from the disk and it just makes culling very quick, very painless especially in these busy fall, this busy fall season where I'm sure you're having a lot of sessions or um, even just outside taking pictures of your own kids and the beautiful colors. So anyway, that is all I wanted to show you guys for today, just how to quickly cull your images in Lightroom.
Have a great day.